in my first loot crate video, I mentioned that I was going to have three boxes, three loot crates that I was going to be opening here on camera that they're sending me one for each month. But this one, as you can tell, is a special one. This is the Star Wars edition exclusive to this month for May. And this is uh, in honor of Star Wars Day, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> I'm super excited about opening this up. The problem is it looks really sturdy. And I don't think I have a knife strong enough to open this up. Hold on, I have an idea. That should do the trick. These things really come in handy when you need them. So, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, this is really great so far. I just put a light in there to make it look cooler than it is. I mean, it's pretty cool. I didn't need the light. Let's get rid of that. As is standard with all loot crates, you have the box where you can punch stuff out. This one looks like it's almost like an AT-AT, an ad ad. We'll get back to that at the end once we've unpacked everything else, but let's start taking some stuff out. This first thing I see here, oh, I can't even tell what this is. I don't know what this is. Let me open up the package. Endor Assault, Rebel Infantry, first in, last standing. Take a drawstring bag here. Let me open that up. I think I know what this is. I think this is a poncho, just like they wore in uh, Return of the Jedi when they're on Endor. Let me see. It is. I'm taking this off, we gotta put this on. Hold on one second. It's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. It is a poncho, just like they wore in Return of the Jedi. Look at the back even. Good stuff on the back. Now, it's a pretty basic poncho. It's not anything fancy, but ponchos don't really need any fixing. It's got a zipper and some Velcro up here, and a hood, and then it's got the snaps as you normally see on a poncho. But this is so cool. <laughs> It's a little warm, so I'm probably gonna take it off right now. I'm not gonna wear it the rest of the time, but man, this is, I love this. I love this so much. And this is the first thing we've opened. We got a lot more to go to. So let me take this off, then we'll get back to the crate. You are starting off strong, Loot Crate. Starting off strong. So next thing in here I see right at the top is this Rebel Alliance hat. Look at this thing. <laughs> this is so cool. So that's actually a pretty nice hat. I would wear that, I'm gonna wear that. Next thing here is a Rebel Forces wallet. Let me open that up, get this out of there. And this is a pretty standard wallet. It's got uh, the like wax canvas feeling. It's got some, some uh, alien writing on there. And it's pretty big. It's got lots of pockets. It's got this little pocket on the back. Lots and lots of space in here and it seems pretty dang secure. I personally am the type of guy who has a very minimal wallet. I have like maybe four four cards in there, very little money, and uh, so this is a little big for me, but it's still very cool. I might give this as a gift to someone in the future, another Star Wars fan that I, that I know. And then next, as is customary in almost all loot crates, I believe, is our uh, loot pin. Let me open this up so I can show you. So this is a loot pin, it says Endor Commando Alliance Special Forces. It's pretty cool. It's a really, really nice pin. It's painted nicely and it's pretty big. You could actually put this on the side of the hat if you wanted to. I like this. And then the last thing in the box is this. And this is not a t-shirt. It's actually a hoodie. So you have the Rebel logo on the front there. You also, on the back, have the same logo as you saw in the poncho, the Endor Alliance Special Ops. Is that what it says? Alliance Spec Ops, <laughs> Endor. That's pretty cool. And this is actually a nice thin hoodie, which I don't have. All of my hoodies are pretty thick, which are great for fall, but it's spring now, and this is a, a thinner one. I actually like that a lot. I like it a lot. And then, as you always have, an equipment list, <laughs> as they call it in this one, but a list of everything that's in the box. 
So you have the uh, elements protection garment, poncho, headwear, pocket documents protection, elite special forces lapel pin, and climate preparedness. So the cool thing is that they even themed the list and the uh, information about what's in the box here, which is very cool. And then on the back, it looks like a top secret document uh, about the, uh, the mission at hand. The other cool thing is that they have some additional clothing and stuff that you can buy online and they have a 10% coupon for that. Speaking of 10% coupons, if you yourself would like to buy a Loot Crate or subscribe to Loot Crate, um, they have a ton of different options. I talked about this in the last video, but Loot Crate is a, is a supplier, a curator of, of really geek and uh, video game culture and cartoon culture and sci-fi. They have boxes for everything. And if you are interested in getting a box yourself, you can go to their website and browse what's available. And if you use my link in the description below, you get a 10% coupon. Um, so 10% off your first box. And uh, it also helps me out a little bit. So definitely, if you're interested in doing this, which if you're into this kind of stuff, is a no-brainer. I think they value most of the stuff as around $70. that comes in the box, and the boxes are much cheaper than that. I think they're around 30 to 45 depending on which box you get. Even this, I mentioned this is sort of like a... a, a a mission spec sheet is really cool. It's like themed very well. And then in the box, as I suspected by the legs on the lid, is a, uh, a crate craft at at. So you can actually punch this out of the box, and uh, this will require some glue, but you can glue it together and create a, an at at model that looks like it would be pretty tall, maybe about that big. I don't have any glue on hand, so I'm not going to do that. Plus, I, I like this crate as it is. It's good for storing stuff and looks cool like that. So I'm gonna leave it, but that's all we have in uh, this this special Star Wars edition crate. I'm really, really excited about everything that's in here. I love Star Wars and I always have, and uh, having this, this theme stuff is really cool. As I mentioned before, if you wanna get yourself a loot crate, definitely check out the link below. It helps me out and you get a discount, a 10% discount on your crate. So. If you're interested, why not? These things also make great gifts. So check out the website, see if there's anything that you like, and if not, no worries. Hopefully you found this video entertaining regardless, and I appreciate you watching. Um, in the next video, we're gonna do an update on my weight loss journey. If you haven't caught up with that, check out the video up here. And uh, that's all for now. I always appreciate you watching. Thank you, and don't forget to create and explore. May the force be with you. Bye.